Welcome dear students. Today we discuss our J M N questions on first section complex numbers. So first question is that let S is equal to C mod Z minus 2 is actually mod Z minus 2 less than equal to 1 be a circle. Mod Z minus 2 less than be a circle whose center at 2 0 and radius 1 unit. Now Z into 1 plus i plus Z into 1 minus i uh, less than or equal to 2. This is actually a straight line, you know. Uh, alpha bar z plus alpha z bar less than equal to 2 is a straight line. So, that straight line we can solving them, it will give the answer as x minus y is equal less than equal to 1. So, here there is a point 1 0 and here there is a point 2 0 that will move like this. So, the required region is exactly, you can plot it as a, this region is there. And uh, you want to find a point which should be in 4, 0, 4. That is actually this, this value. We can make the point as a 0, 4. And uh, draw the line like this. You want to find there is a point here. That is actually marked as C. And here it is equal A. And we can identify this distance. And this B. This also the distance. So, you know P is equal to 0, 4. And A is equal to 1, 0. Then P A is equal distance formally. We can apply it as what? 70. And at the same time, uh, P is equal to 0, 4 and A is equal, sorry, B is equal to 2, 1 will provide PB is equal to root 13. That means this is less than that of PA. And that should be the extra point here in this region. Now, there is a point C is there. That should be the minimum uh, value of uh, uh, the distance of PC. How to find that uh, PC? So, just you solving this two equation, we can find a coordinate. That is actually the first equation is uh, x minus 3 the whole square plus y square is equal to uh, 4. That is 16. You can see that this uh, equation, sorry, that is equal to x square minus 2, that should be 1. Now, equating this and solving for, we can find it. So, that is actually y is equal to x minus 1. We can replace here and solve it. It will give the coordinate inside that. So, that should be a C. C we can solve it as what? 2 minus 1 by root 5 and comma 2 by root 5. We can solve it. By simply finding that values inside this equation and find uh, the solution will provide the value for it. Otherwise, we can uh, find this distance. We can subtracting that distance. We can identify this uh, coordinate inside them. So, we can find what is the value for PC. So, PC is the uh, distance which will be the minimum regarding uh, uh, from the point P. So, we can find the, uh, the minimum value of is Z1 belongs to S will provide the point C and the maximum value is Z2 at uh, belongs to S with the point at A. So, Z1 is equal to we can see that uh, one point Z1 is equal to uh, 1 plus 0 i that point at A and Z2 is equal to uh, 2 minus 1 by root 5 plus 2 by root 5 i. Now, you need to find its modulus. So, mod of uh, z1 is equal to 1 and uh, modulus of z2 is equal to just to make the modulus by squaring this 2 minus 1 by root 5 the whole square plus 4 by 5. So, you can see that it is equal to 25 minus that should be in the form 25 minus 4 root 5 divided by 5. You can squaring and adding we can find it. That is actually mod z2. Therefore, uh, uh, 5 mod z2 square. This is actually, you know, it is not mod z, mod z square. So, 5 times mod z1 square plus uh, mod z2 square is equal to 30 plus uh, 4, 30 minus 4 root 5. This should be alpha plus uh, uh, beta root 5 which is given. Therefore, uh, alpha plus beta is equal to alpha plus beta is 30 minus 4 is 26. So, that is answer for this problem. 26 is there. Okay. Now, second problem is actually very simple question. You know, mod z equal 3 be a circle. Mod z is equal to 3 is a circle having radius 3 units. It is actually a 3 unit with the center to origin. Now, next argument of z minus 1 by z plus 1 is equal to pi by 4. This is actually, you know, while you identifying this point is left side and that should be 1 and here it is an angle theta that is actually pi by 4 or 45, then you can find this uh, locus should be a part of circle. 
So you want to find the radius of the part of circle. If it is there, a point, we can find this condition as a using this a by sin a uh, is equal to 2 r, where r is the radius and a be the side and this be the angle. Therefore, uh, uh, 2 divided by sin 45 degree is equal to r, this length. So, we can find this coordinate and uh, r should be radius of that circle is equal to root 2. Just you make this value reciprocally, that should be. So, this is a circle having radius root t unit. And you want to uh, combine that two as in our same figure. Here it is minus 1 and that is 1. So, this is the circle which should have a center uh, on this vertical line and having a radius as what? Root 2 unit. So, that never intersect the first circle. So, the answer is equal to this. Now, you come to question number uh, 3. Here, you want to find the number of uh, elements on in the set uh, 1 less than mod z minus 3 plus 2 i less than 4. So, this again a circle, you know one circle is here inside with having one unit and other circle is outside, there is another unit. So, this point is equal to 3 comma minus 2. So, you know the radius 4 unit, we can draw this line, then we can find this point and draw this line, then we can find this point and draw that point. So, so, here these are because of the radius 4 unit, we can find the count. Suppose you want to find the equation, the count inside them, the outer square should be like this. So, the length of that side should be 8 unit, but you know this point will, should not count. So, you can identifying the counted point is actually in the form uh, this. So, how many points are there? You know outer square have 8 unit. So, inner square have uh, 7 unit is there. So, total count of uh, integers inside them is uh, 7 into 7 that is 49. But this point should not be count because it is outside our circle. And at the same time this point 1 unit this will not also we can't count. So, from that uh, you know uh, this uh, this 4 and that 5, 9 points should be out. So, we can take the required count is equal to 49 minus 9, 40 is the answer of that problem. So, we can identify using this figure what actually location inside this modulus of uh, z minus 3 plus 2i along with them and using that we can shift the right end and shift the left end and we can identify the uh, square that will make the count. Okay. So, we come to question number 4. Here actually a difficult question again, you know uh, i is inside them, it is not the problem exactly on complex numbers, but in the case of matrices, you know how to find that uh, a square, you can find a square as what 1 plus i 1 minus 1 minus i and 0 into the same 1 plus i 1 and minus 1 0 is there. So, expanding you can identify the uh, equation as in the form i 1 plus i and at the same time minus i plus 1 and uh, the rest should be minus i this this is actually a square so we can expand with our uh, matrix multiplication we can find this expression is there now we can find uh, our a rest of 4 how to, what is a rest of 4 a rest of 4 is a square into a square so you can take together and again you can observe them it is should be 1 0 0 1 so very nice observation a rest of 4 is 1 that means a raised to 4 m, a raised to 4 m is equal to i raised to m is exactly i. Therefore, uh, for a raised to 4 m plus 1, that is actually what it is equal to i into a. When you multiply both sides with i or a, it will give you 4 raised to a, uh, a raised to 4 m plus 1 into the for a raised to 4 m plus 1 is equal to a is the expression. As per the given matrix, this is the formula. Now listen, what is the question requirement? It is required to find there are a set having 1 to 100 numbers and you want to find this count n, which are the feasible value. Now you feel that it is equal to in the form a raised to 4 m plus 1 is equal to a. So, when n m is equal to 0, you get at first a, a raised to 1 is equal to a. So, we can choose one value for a. Uh, n as 1, then you can come to put m is equal to 1. So, it is what a raised to 5 is equal to a and uh, m is equal to 2, that is a raised to 9 is equal to a and so on. Finally, it will become what m is equal to 97, it will give, not that it is actually 26, you can find there 
it is equal to a raised to 97 is equal to uh, e. That is actually not the 24, it, this actual value is uh, 24. So, your requirement how many such values of n are there? You know, when m is equal to 0, 1, 2, etc., you will give 1, 5, 9, etc., 97 be the uh, value exactly from the given set and how many of them are there? You know, including 0 up to 24, there are totally 25 values of m. So, of m, so which will correspond 25 values of n in the given set. So, answer of that problem is 25. Now, this also a very difficult problem, you know, z bar. Sum of the squares of modulus of all the complex numbers z satisfying z bar equal to i z square plus z square minus z. So, you can choose it is in the form z plus i shift that z to upside that is z plus z bar is equal to z square into 1 plus i. So, you know uh, it is equal to where z is equal to x plus i y then this is equal to 2 x is equal to uh, x square that is x square minus y square plus 2 x y i into 1 plus i. So, by expanding and comparing this two we can solve for it that is actually 2 x the real number is a, this will 1 that is x square minus y square minus 2 x y will provide a, uh, one equation real part we can equating it at the same time there is imaginary part should be 0. So, that should be left side is a, uh, 0 0 is equal to uh, 2 x y and plus x square minus y square is there. This actually is 0 and that equation. So, you can try to solve this two equation. Look there, it is equal to, uh, you can write down 2x is equal to uh, x square minus y square minus 2xy. Whenever you are subtracting this, you get that minus 2x is equal to 4xy, which implies x is equal to 0 or y is equal to minus 1 by 2. These are the first situation for this two values, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to. Now, we can come to solve the equation with x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, it will give you that y is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, uh, solving this equation, when x is equal to 0, you can see that 0, 0, minus y and there. So, uh, y is also 0. So, the point is equal to 0, 0 and at the same time, we can solve the other situation as a uh, y is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, then y is equal to minus 1 by 2, it will give you 2x is equal to x square minus 1 by 4 uh, plus x. Therefore, uh, 0 is equal to x square minus x uh, minus 1 by 4. So, again you want to solve this equation for x values, uh, just you multiply with the 4 or 4x four square minus 4x minus 1 equal to 0. So, 4x square minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 2 or x minus 2x minus 1 the whole square is equal to 2 or x 2x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 2 or x is equal to 1 plus or minus is not root 2 root 2 divided by 2. So, we can find the values are in the form 1 plus root 2 by 2 1 minus uh, uh, root 1 minus root 2 divided by 2 as the official values of x when y is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, the complex numbers are 0, 0 be a first complex number and next is equal to 1 plus root 2 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 and 1 minus root 2 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 are the different values. Now, we can find their squaring and adding because it we want to find the sum of the moduli. This will be 0 and adding this to you know it is equal to 1 plus root to the square by 4 and again 1 by 4 and add it together will give finally it is equal to. So, uh, you can find the res, uh, respective modulus sum uh, square plus mod z 2 square plus mod z 3 square is uh, finally it will become 2. So, squaring and adding this all modulus will provide the answer for 2. Now, question number this area of the polygon whose vertices are uh, non real roots of the equation z bar is equal to i z square. So, it is also uh, same problem we already discussed there. Let us say z bar is x minus i y. If you choose z is equal to x plus i y, then right side is equal to i into x square minus y square plus 2 x y. Whenever you can uh, squaring that uh, uh, expression along with uh, our uh, z as x plus i y. So, it is equal to x square minus y square into i minus 2 x y. So, comparing this to you got that uh, uh, 
uh, x is equal to minus 2 x y and uh, y is equal to minus y is equal to x square minus y square. Again, you are able to solve the expression. Uh, so, this will provide you x is equal to 0, then y also 0. And uh, otherwise, uh, uh, y is equal to minus 1 by 2. Uh, then, when x is equal to 0, you got that uh, y values are uh, minus y is equal to minus y square. Therefore, y is equal to y square implies that uh, y is equal to 0 or 1. So, the points are 0, 0 and 0, 1 is there when x becomes 0. Again, when y is equal to minus 1 by 2, we can come back to this expression and uh, minus 1 by 2, 1, 1 by 2 is equal to x square minus 1 by 4. Therefore, x is equal to x square is equal to 3 by 4. You shift them, take that sum. So, x is equal to plus or minus root 3 divided by 2. So, the coordinates are uh, uh, root 3 by 2 and uh, minus 1 by 2 sub coordinate and uh, root minus root 3 by 2 and uh, uh, minus 1 by 2 and 0, 0 I can out and uh, finally it is 0, 1. They are uh, complex roots. You know, 0, 1 be a complex root. So, these two are also complex root. You choose a polygon whose uh, uh, vertices are this 3. Then you, can, you have a triangle. How to find the uh, area of triangle? Area of triangle is simply using our vertices form 1 by 2 into determinant. Uh, this point as 1, 0, 1 and next uh, 1 root 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and uh, 1 minus root 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2. So, better you can subtract this to simply 0 and expanding along that it will give the answer as in the form 1 by 2 in the determinant of 1, 0, 1. If you subtract here it is 0 and this will be uh, root 3 and again 0 and 1 minus root 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. So, using this column we can find the uh, value as in the form. 1 by 2 into root 3 into values. This minus 1 by 2 minus 1. So, it is equal to uh, root 3 by 2 into minus 3 by 2. So, area should be modulus value. So, 3 root 3 divided by 4 is the answer for that problem. Now, next question. So, again you come back to two uh, different expression in complex numbers. One should be a circle. You know the circle whose center is a, uh, 4i. So, this is actually center 4 comma. You know if there is a, 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 a circle it should be 4. So, 4, 3 be the circle and we can draw a circle like this. Now, the second one. You know mod is it mod is it a plus a mod 4 is it minus 4 is equal to 6. So, what is the distance between that 0 and 4? It is 4 units. So, 0 here and 4 is there. Then you can identify a point whose distance from this and that should be always 6. That is if it is P and it is A and B, then P A plus P B is equal to 6 unit. It is actually what? It is a ellipse like this. Whose uh, foci are on x axis at uh, uh, this is 0, 0 and that point is 4, 0. So, uh, the middle point is exactly here as a uh, 2 comma 0 be the midpoint. So, we can identify the ellipse like this. You want to find the common point of intersection. So, they will intersect two different points. So, answer C is the option corresponding to that. So, just you draw the circle and that of ellipse then the problem is very simple. And uh, next you come to this system. It is actually uh, some difficulty inside them. You can see that first equation is for i x plus 1 plus i uh, into y is equal to 0 and here it is equal to 8 into u to 2 pi by 3 i x plus a bar y is equal to 0 are two uh, equation. You know if it is a 1 x, a 1 x plus b 1 y is equal to c 1 and a 2 x plus b 2 y is equal to c 2 are two equation. They have a uh, more than one values definitely they these two are different they will intersect if they are parallel and coincident then definitely uh, they will make more so coincidental condition is what a1 a2 a1 by a2 a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 so we can apply the same condition here as a 4i divided by 8 e raised to uh, 2 by 3i is equal to 1 plus i divided by a bar so, we can cross multiplying, we can cancel 2 here that is equal to uh, i into a bar is equal to 1 plus i into 2 into e raised to 2 pi by 3 i. So, you know it is equal to 1 plus i into 2 into uh, 
e raised to 2 pi by 3 is cos 2 pi by 3 plus sin this root 3 by 2 minus this should be minus 1 by 2 and that should be root 3 by 2. So, it is equal to 2 into minus 1 by 2 plus i root 3 by 2. Therefore, we can expand it will give you 1 plus i into minus 1 plus i root 3 and i a bar is there. It is given a bar is equal to uh, uh, a alpha plus i beta therefore i into alpha plus i beta because given as a, a is equal to alpha minus i beta. So, a bar become plus i and we can expand here as what minus 1 plus i root 3 and minus i minus root 3 is there. So, uh, we can again expand here it is a i alpha minus beta is equal to minus 1 minus uh, root 3 plus i into root 3 minus 1. So, equating them alpha is equal to uh, root 3 minus 1 and beta is equal to uh, root 3 plus 1. So, division will provide here. So, for alpha by beta is equal to root 3 minus 1 the whole square divided by 3 minus 1 it is equal to 3 plus 1 minus 2 root 3 divided by 2 or it is equal to 2 minus root 3. So, is our one option 2 minus 3 that is option B is there. So, again geometrical problem arises. It is in third quadrant, in third quadrant. So, mod z plus 1, you know mod z plus 1 by z minus 1 is less than 1. That means, mod z plus 1 is less than mod z minus 1. Or if equal sign is identified, you can observing that mod z plus 1 equal to mod z minus 1 is actually what? It is equidistant from 1 and minus 1. So, when uh, x y axis is there, if you draw that uh, here it is minus 1 and 1, equidistant be the line this and left side of this left this because of this one. So, left region can be identified. Now, you come to this expression as a, our argument situation for minus 1 here and 1 is there and you know uh, the angle is 2 pi by 3. So, very small angle should be there. This is the locus inside R. It is 2 pi 120 degrees there. So, you just mark this as a circle and that should be identified this one. So, this is the entire region inside of. Now, you need to find the center, center of the circle. So, how to find the center of the circle here? So, that is actually very uh, simple situation to make the value for that circle inside there. Okay. So, uh, we can convert the expression in terms of our uh, trigonometrical condition tan of z minus 1 by uh, mod z minus 2, you know. Uh, whenever you can observing that expression as a, ta as a tangent form, tan was value can be uh, easily identified. You know, x, x minus 1, x minus 1 plus y, i divided by uh, x plus 1 plus y, i with a tan value is equal to uh, 2 pi by 3. So, you can see that uh, argument condition can be separate inside them. So, what it is tan inverse of uh, tan inverse of y by x minus 1 plus uh, tan inverse of uh, y by x plus 1 is equal to uh, 2 pi by 3. So, we can uh, make the sum of tan inverse a plus tan versus plus tan inverse y and cross multiplying you can identify an equation of a tangent inside or equation of circle inside our equation of circle become finally x square plus y square plus 2 by root 3 x uh, y minus 1 equals 0 be the equation whenever you can expand as a simple expression of tan bus and cross multiplying to take the value for tan it will be result as an equation x square plus y square plus 2 root 3 uh, y minus 1. So, the center as at 0 comma minus 1 by root 3. The problem is actually you know while the observing the uh, options both of them have the same center. So, no need of finding the center we can immediately draw the circle like this you know this is the circle with a where it is attained. So, it is 120 degree and at the same time the region is left side of this region. So, exactly this region should be what? It is a circle whose center is 0, comma, minus 1 by root 3 in the second quadrant. So, the required region is a circle, portion of circle centered at 0, minus 1 by root 3 and in lies in the second, not uh, second and not only there, uh, option second quadrant only. Option B is the correct answer for it. So, the last one is also not correct. Next one. 
So, z square plus z plus 1 equals 0 and z be a complex number. This is a famous equation of z values is equal to omega and omega square. You know, omega plus omega square is equal to 1. And at the same time, you know, omega uh, raised to n plus omega raised to 2n is also is minus 1, minus 1 is there. And omega raised to n plus 1 by omega raised to n is also what? It is actually minus 1. You know, uh, omega square is 1 by omega inside there. So, these conditions are a very important role in this problem. And at the same time, you know, uh, omega raised to 2, the whole square is become omega raised to 4 is actually omega. And omega uh, 1 square is actually shifted to like this of uh, omega square there. So, squaring and uh, uh, taking the situation is there. But at the same time, omega cube is a uh, omega cube. Omega cube plus uh, 1 by omega cube is actually 2 because omega cube is 1. Otherwise, you know, omega raised to n plus omega raised to uh, minus n becomes minus 1 only with uh, uh, n is in the form not a multiple of 3. If it is a multiple of 3, it should be 2 inside there. Now, we come back to our problem uh, with this. Uh, finally, you want to find the modulus of this expression. So, we come back to this problem as uh, initially square in this condition. You know, z raised to n plus uh, uh, minus 1 raised to n into 1 by z raised to uh, n, the whole raised to uh, w, uh, the whole square is applied. So, you know, it is omega, omega raised to n, that is omega square. So, whenever you can make the square, it is equal to z raised to 2 n plus uh, uh, minus 1 raised to 2, so actually positive, so 1 by z raised to 2 n plus uh, 2 into minus 1 raised to n because that to be cancelled. This is actually the squaring situation. And at the same time, you know, omega is equal to, if omega, z is equal to omega, this expression becomes omega square raised to uh, n plus uh, 1 by omega raised to uh, square raised to 2n. You know, actually omega square raised to n and uh, at the same time, this will be omega raised to n form. That is the situation there. We can find whether it is a multiple of uh, uh, 3 or not, it will give the answer inside. Okay. So, this uh, is in the omega raised to 2n um, plus uh, this is equal to omega raised to 1 by omega raised to 2n plus 2 minus 1 raised to n. So, this is uh, our expression and come back to choose the value sigma 1 to 50. Now, when n is equal to 1, this become omega square plus 1 by omega square. That is actually what? Minus 1. And uh, this would be minus 1. So, it will give a number. And again, when you put omega is equal to 2 or etc., we can find the values. Uh, uh, inside. No need of expanding them and finally make the sum because of a different different situation we can apply it down. So, one should be omega and other should be omega square form. You know this uh, omega square can be written as in the form uh, omega square is equal to 1 by omega and this should be 1 by omega square raised to n becomes omega raised to n. So, this problem is we can directly shift the form uh, sigma 1 to 15 into this is uh, omega uh, 1 by omega raised to n and this become omega raised to n plus 2 minus 1 raised to n. So, it will give the answer in the form sigma 1 to 15 this omega raised to n plus 1 by omega raised to n plus 2 into minus 1 raised to n. Now, we can uh, keep the different values of uh, n should be 1 and uh, m should be minus 1 and we can make the sum finally. So, it will give the getting, can, so otherwise we can directly put the different situation there, omega square and expanding them with a GP form, we can also find it. You know, omega plus 1 by omega is actually what? Minus 1. And we can keep that should be, where it is minus 2, then again it should be uh, minus 1 and that should be 2. So, we can get cancelled that whole time together and finally, uh, you got that if it is omega n is equal to 3, then this one uh, and uh, that one 2 and here it is equal to minus 2. So, get cancelled 3. So, all multiples of 3 should be there and uh, other should be 2. So, final sum should be you can see that is 2. Otherwise, we can put the different values inside them and observing them value is equal to. Okay. Now, question number uh, 11. 11 to question inside there. They are the, uh, the circle C as a complex plane passes through the point 3, 4 i and 4, 3. They are a symmetric point and this is equal to 5 i. You know mod z1, mod z1 is equal to mod z2 is equal to mod z3 are all fine. So, they are lies on the same circle and at the same time uh, there is a point which are not as z1, it is a point on C such that the line through the z1 and perpendicular to the line through z1 and z2 then argument of z2 is there. 
ഇതാണ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്മൾ ഇത് വരുമ്പോൾ ഉറക്കേണ്ടത് നമ്മളെടുത്ത സർക്കിൾ ഇങ്ങനെ എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇതിൻ്റെ ഇതേപോലെ ഒരു സർക്കിളാണ് നമുക്ക് ഡിഫൈൻഡ് ആവുന്നത് ഇതിൽ ഒരു പോയിൻ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ത്രീ കമ ഫോർ എ ആണെങ്കിൽ ത്രീ ഫോർ ആണ് പോയിൻറ്റ് അടുത്തതെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഫോർ ത്രീ ആണ് ദെൻ ദർ ഇസ് എ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഓൺ ദ സർക്കിൾ വിച്ച് ആർ ആക്ച്വലി ഇൻ ദ സെറ്റ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫൈവ് എ ദർ ഇസ് ആക്ച്വലി സീറോ ഫൈവ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ പോയിൻറ്റ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ഡാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഇസ് എഡ് ത്രീ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഇസ് എഡ് ടു സോ ദ ലൈൻ ജോയിനിങ് ദിസ് ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് യു ഡ്രോ ദിസ് വൺ ഇസ് ആക്ച്വലി വാട്ട് എൻ യു ഇസ് എറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ആസ് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് so you want to find the uh, argument of uh, this is it so whenever you can identify an x axis there uh, how to find the argument you need to find it is in the form x plus iy then we can find the angle rotation or transverse expression can be identified so you need to find what is the coordinate here and at the same time this is 90 degree so uh, you just find the equation of uh, a dot expression that is actually very simple we can solve the expression in the form uh, using this uh, we can find a coordinate Uh, or the slope inside the man find our equation so the slope, i i just make this one as a point uh, a and b and this is equal p and q so slope of m ab we can find m ab is equal to uh, 5 minus 3 divided by 0 minus 4 this is equal to 2 by minus 4 is minus 1 by 2 therefore uh, m uh, pq is equal to Uh, 2 the for equation of pq is equal to y minus 4 is equal to 2 into x minus 3 so it is equal to y is equal to 2x uh, plus 2 or y is equal to 2 into x plus 1 this is the equation for uh, that uh, that line now the equation of circle you know the points are actually in the equidistance uh, uh, from there and so this equation is mod z is equal to 5 So what is it? It is x square plus y square equal to 25. So we can just replace that value here. And so y is there. So x square plus x square plus 4 into x plus 1 the whole square is equal to 25. And now you try to solve the equation. You have two different points. One should be because of the straight line is actually this. So one point should be 3, 4 and other point should be there. So after solving them, we can find the coordinate as a find it is in the form. Uh, x coordinate is equal to minus 7 by 5. We can solve it. And uh, similar y becomes what? 24 divided by 5. So, so we can find. So the coordinate z is becomes z is equal to minus 7 by 5 uh, plus uh, minus 24 by 5i. So after solving this equation, we can find what is the value for x. Using that value, we can find for the values of uh, y. Then we can find this too. Now what is the uh, 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 argument of z? argument of physics is very interesting you know this is in fourth third quadrant in third quadrant you know if it is theta then it is equal to minus pi plus theta is there so it is equal to minus pi plus tan inverse of dividing by 2 it is equal to y by x that is 24 by 7 so answer is tan inverse of 24 by 7 minus pi be the answer which is given in our second b option b is the correct answer for this problem so uh, here you want to solve coordinate geometry by uh, finding this equation because it is perpendicular we can find equation and solving this circle then we can find this coordinate there is one more point inside them so we can locate this point and finding the argument in the previous form now come to the last problem uh, here is it one and is it to be two complex numbers such that is it one i and is it two and argument which should be correct inside the expression so here it is equal you know is it one bar is equal to i into is it two bar which implies that is it one is equal to minus i into is it two so i keep that uh, uh, argument of is it one is equal to r e raised to i theta one because of the same modulus then we can choose is it two is equal to r e raised to i theta two because of they have the same modulus value and at the same time you know argument of uh, argument of z1 is equal to argument of uh, minus i z2 which will be theta1 is equal to argument of minus i is minus pi by 2 plus theta2 now one more condition is given what is the uh, condition here it is equal to argument of uh, z by z1 by z2 bar is equal to pi that is actually argument of z1 minus argument of z2 bar is equal to pi so it is equal theta1 minus minus theta2 is equal to pi or theta1 plus theta2 is equal to pi so already you know 
തീറ്റ വൺ മൈനസ് തീറ്റ ടു ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ മൈനസ് ഫൈവ് ബൈ ടു ആൻഡ് തീറ്റ വൺ പ്ലസ് തീറ്റ ടു നൗ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ഫൈവ് സോ വൈൽ യു ആഡ് ഡം യു ഗഡ ടു തീറ്റ വൺ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു പൈ മൈനസ് ഫൈവ് ബൈ ടു ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു യു ഗഡ ഫൈവ് ബൈ ടു ഇസ് ദർ ദെൻ ടു തീറ്റ വൺ ഇസ് ദർ ദെൻ തീറ്റ വൺ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ഫൈവ് ബൈ ഫോർ So, argument of is given is pi by 4 is the correct answer, which is given in our option uh, C. While we want to solve other 4, we can find it as 3 pi 4, and that ends.